New details tonight about a deadly officer involved shooting earlier this month in San Francisco's Crocker Amazon neighborhood at a town hall hosted by police tonight to discuss it. The family of the suspect who was shot and killed apologized. ABC 7 News reporter Cornell Bernard was at that meeting and is here with what happened. Cornell. Yeah, that was a very big surprise, Dan and Ama, but there was lots of criticize, criticism from, for police from those who were caught in the crossfire of the shootout. First, a warning, the police body cam footage that was released at tonight's town hall meeting is disturbing. He did not have to die. The uncle of 21-year-old Jihad Eid came looking for answers from the SFPD at a town hall meeting about the March 21st shooting, which left Eid dead. Police body-worn cameras captured the beginning of a shootout when officers responded to a barber shop on Geneva Avenue looking for a man whose relatives say had a gun. This camera worn by the officer who confronted Eid inside the barber shop. The officer was wounded in the leg. You see him crawling out of the shop to safety. Police say Eid fired nine rounds from his handgun. 26 rounds were returned by two officers. He was shot 18 times. Officials say Eid fired first. Mr. Eid stood up and shot at the officers. A relative read this surprising statement from the Eid family. We understand the resulting consequences of Jihad's actions and stand by the officers, officers who made the decision to use lethal force. Get out. Oh my God. Get out. Get out. An employee inside the barbershop is heard yelling, I got kids. Four people were wounded in the crossfire. You guys handled that all messed up. They're dads, brothers, everything, husbands in that shop. Chief William Scott couldn't say how four victims were wounded. A lot of people in the room here were uh, in, involved in the incident, so, but we don't have the scientific evidence that right now as we speak to determine which bullets hit. The district attorney is now reviewing the case. In San Francisco, Cornell Bernard, ABC 7 News.